good morning my friends and uh, our gut is our second brain so what does it mean it means that our brains intellectual activity are parallelly conducted in our guts that's why when we fear we feel butterflies in the stomach they are actually the constrictions in the um, guts so how to maintain our gut and what is the importance of gut that we are going to talk today a pediatric doctor's survey for children says that 60% children are constipated in the whole world so why this constipation is there what is the relation of constipation with guts and what are the problems created by guts problems my dear friends if your digestion is okay your food is okay if your digestion is not good you do not feel good this is because most of the serotonin that is happy neurotransmitter that is produced in our guts so it's very important to maintain the flora of the guts there are numerous bacteria there are so many different bacterial flora in our guts and actually they are maintaining the our health so whatever we eat actually um, uh, that is eaten by the bacteria and when they are satisfied we feel satisfaction so this is very crazy and i really feel sometimes human body is so complex and so much uh, interlinked and uh, on bio system but that bio system should be balanced so how to maintain the gut flora and what is how to maintain the gut health the four most important thing for the guts is to eat the fibers you know just like when we clean our utensils in a home and if they are little bit oily we need to use some scraper so that or scrubber so that we can scrub the oiliness in the same way fibers in our body they scrub our gut and they make our gut clean and that's why we do not suffer from constipation our gut is good our gut health is good and serotonin is nicely produced and we become happy this is a very simple thing so and where is fibers fibers is in vegetables crucified vegetables and then green vegetables you must eat lot of vegetables that to uh, in, a, in a raw form because before uh, st- starting your lunch have some raw food and then start your um, lunch because raw food makes our gut very clean second most important thing is yogurt or buttermilk buttermilk and yogurt are having such a good bacillus uh, uh, in them that is bacteria they actually help our gut to heal so uh, drink buttermilk eat yogurt these are the that is curd that is very good for our gut health third thing which is very good for our hair, gut health is water unless and until we drink proper amount of water uh, our gut will become dry and we will feel constipated so there are two reasons for constipation drinking less water and drinking less fiber so we have to balance both things and i am going to give you certain very simple solutions for constipation for you know, gut problems or hero hemorrhoids for um, any kind of a fissure or um, problems related with the guts inflammation so the most important thing is that to maintain the gut we have to maintain our mind and our food in a balance eat at the same time drink ample water and then be happy if you are if you will maintain these three things your gut will be absolutely okay but if you are having so much stress and so much anxiety or depression then your gut becomes weak and then there are different kind of a you know, gut problems uh, so sometimes you feel constipated sometimes you feel you know, diarrhea like thing so this become this means that the gut is having a very sensitive uh, threshold so how to make our gut strong to make our gut strong first of all we must Uh, do exercise exercise helps our gut 
to have a good um, uh, inner movement peristaltic movements and uh, it helps our um, uh, whole body to get a good blood circulation so doing exercise helps us doing meditation helps to maintain the gut health because meditation reduces the stress and due to less stress our gut becomes happy then when we are feeling constipated and our gut is like we are not feeling very well and feeling uh, uh, like a uh, uh, vomiting or something uh, very uh, uh, painful in our stomach or in our guts then we have to do two things first of all is fasting fasting helps us to clean our guts naturally second thing if you are constipated never do the fasting because uh, uh, when you are doing fasting you are not getting ample food or ample uh, stimulus for the peristaltic movements of the guts or the large intestine but if you are having a constipation then first you will have to clear the constipation you can use sat isab gol or liquid paraffin to remove the constipation these are the most safest ways to reduce or remove the constipation this is very useful for fissure this is very useful for hemorrhoids this is very useful for any chronic inflammatory diseases also then how to remove the inflammation of the guts intermittent fasting is the best way and what is intermittent fasting intermittent fasting is keeping some uh, time between the two food like a dinner and lunch suppose if you are eating uh, dinner after lunch within the break of 8 hours can you increase that to 12 hours that means you will have only two meals and then you will have a 12 hours fasting if it is possible for you one meal in a day that is uh, omad diet so that is the most uh, beautiful thing or nice thing for our guts because our body is having a natural system in it to clean itself to reduce the inflammation to balance itself and i will tell you a very you know, scientific uh, important discovery uh, that our body when it is in a fasting mode it goes in a different mode it our our cellular energy increases and our normal cells eat the bad cells so when our normal cells eat bad cells that means we are having more healthy cells in our body than the unhealthy cells and this gives a kind of a, a good uh, uh, energy immunity to our body so uh, like in childhood we do not used to eat constantly or uh, 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 with a frequent interval we used to play around 6 7 hours and then when we will come to home we will um, do our work and then we will eat so there was a long time but still we used to manage it because uh, we were at in childhood there was a rule like when you will be hungry you will eat it but now it is like that you we are so much stressed that we feel oh god if i will not get food let me eat it and let me have ample food in my stomach but that is wrong intermittent fasting is the best way to clear your skin to clear your um, guts to um, reduce your cough to reduce your weight to reduce your like you know it is a natural healing process which gives you a kind of a very calm mind you sleep very well when you are doing the intermittent fasting so uh, these are the things which are very uh, very normal very simple but uh, people are so much addicted for the junk food or the tasty food or the fried food that they feel that uh, they do not want to give up that or sacrifice that but uh, not sacrificing that we are taking so much risk for our heart for our lungs for our guts for our brain so instead of uh, doing uh, some uh, surgeries or some treatments afterwards let us uh, do it in a pro like a pre liposuction kind of thing or pre heart surgery or pre uh, something which which you are doing before uh, getting any treatment so that is a prevention so in a short prevention for the guts problems can be done with the simple things 
by eating yogurt or a buttermilk by drinking water by uh, clearing our bowel with the help of liquid paraffin asad is a bowl then have a good night sleep then do exercise and then uh, have a good meditation to reduce the stress simple things make our health very well do not over complicate it do not take extra medicines or something to do um, some instant uh, effect for our health or body do it naturally keep patience patience is the most important thing for healing and uh, when you keep patience the healing uh, speed is uh, enhanced so my dear friends have a good guts and uh, we say that um, that person is having a guts in uh, him or her that means that um, the inner energy that is the confidence is developed from the gut so if you want to be confident if you have to have a peak performance guts are the basic cause or the root cause for your everything and to have the anti inflammatory effect on the uh, guts or uh, large intestine so you must uh, take care of the food you are eating acidic ph food increases inflammation and alkaline food ph decreases the uh, acidity or inflammation so always try to eat vegetables they are having a alkaline uh, ph which are very good to reduce the inflammation always eat ghee ghee is very good for uh, our guts ghee is cow's ghee that is uh, if you will take one uh, spoonful every morning with uh, warm water that is also okay or you can take it on a uh, food or uh, rice and you can eat it because this is very good to improve the digestion power also and to improve the uh, smooth seamless peristaltic movements and food flow uh, in our guts so my dear friends our intelligence is not only in our brain but in our guts so if you want to become intelligent and you are intelligent but if you want to increase your intelligence focus on your guts if your guts are okay you are gutsy have a good day have a good guts